The main issue with strawberry plants is that before we go and eat them, sometimes the unwanted guests in our garden will just go and treat themselves. We don't want it. And let us today see in this video, how can we keep our strawberry plants healthy and how can we keep these unwanted guests away from our strawberry plants so that we can treat ourselves with those beautiful fruits. Let's get started. Now there are various kinds of strawberry plants available right now this one you see over here this is the one that will uh, give fruits throughout the year at least two two seasons a year which is you know in the autumn and in the early spring if you have seen my outdoor plant tour video which was posted three months ago over there you will see that there are a lot of strawberry fruits and there are a few new fruits as you can see over here there are a few new fruits which have started coming up now i want to show you first one thing can you see these that before I eat it somebody somebody has already eaten it and this is eaten up by slugs and snails so when I saw this I was like let me share with viewers you know what can be done so that we avoid these kind of mistakes and you know we can keep our strawberries safe from them the first thing I want to share is where to plant your strawberry plants now obviously if you're not farming it and if you're just planting it because you like it i would suggest it to plant it in a pot and not on the you know uh, ground and also when you're planting it in a pot uh, you can prefer keeping the pot uh, at a bit of a height um, you can pot it in a hanging basket you can pot it in uh, pvc pipes these things will uh, reduce the probability of pest attacks so if this can be done i would prefer doing that second thing that i want to discuss over here is that the pot that we take if it is not very deep that would be good because the roots of strawberry plant won't go a lot deep in fact they will just go you know in the horizontal direction so we need to have a pot which is which has a broad mouth i would say like the hanging basket rather than very deep most important thing that we need to understand is that a good soil is very important to keep strawberry plants healthy and to allow them to give a lot of fruits so obviously if you're planting it in a pot the pot has to have a lot of holes and the soil has to be absolutely well drained because uh, strawberry plants they do not like clay soil because if the soil is too clay the roots of strawberry plants would not be able to penetrate themselves in the soil and they will not be able to breathe so a good mixture of normal garden soil with some compost and cocoa peat is perfect cocoa peat will give it the moist environment that it requires compost will give all the required nutrients like you know uh, nitrogen for most importantly and the third thing is garden soil which is anyways well drained you know because it has stones it has bark of trees it has wood so all this mixture will make it a perfect soil so that the roots can breathe easily as you can see this is the crown of the plant crown is basically the area from where all the leaves and you know any fruit will start bearing out it is the central point i would say and it has to be always on the top of the soil if the crown is buried under the soil then there will be a lot of fungal attacks and your plant would not be able to live for longer can you have a look at my soil it is so porous so loose have a look the soil has to be like this not very clay this is easy this will make it easy for the roots to breathe and if the roots are healthy definitely the plant will be healthy now the next thing that i would recommend is to mulch now what is mulching the top layer of the soil i will cover it with dry leaves or wooden pieces or anything dry which is organic obviously it is basically a layer or a border that you are drawing between the soil and the plant because in strawberry plants what happens is sometimes the fruits will touch the soil and it will introduce a lot of fungal attack hence drawing this border between the soil and the plant will avoid a lot of fungal attacks and it will also make sure that when it is very hot out there the roots are moist because of this mulching that is done and even when it is very cold out there the soil will not get the frost because of this mulching done so the roots are keeping themselves safe because of these 
uh, mulching that is done by you. I would also recommend potting the strawberry plants in fresh potting mix and not in a used soil wherein you you know you have planted already some plant but it might have died and you just have that old soil and you're planting the strawberry. That is not a good idea because there are some roots already inside the soil and the strawberry plants might not like it because these are very delicate and it just introduces the unnecessary pest attack. So fresh soil is the best. Also you have to be very patient with the strawberry fruits because from the moment you have uh, planted the plant till the time you can eat the fruits it's a process of up to 16 weeks now if the fruit is raw and you have already picked the fruit now what happens is once it is picked the fruit will not ripen so you have to make sure that once your fruit is ripen only then you pick your fruit otherwise if it is raw and you've already picked you might have to throw it in the bin now most of us we love strawberries a lot because they are rich in nutrients you know they have this antioxidant uh, capacity uh, that we eat it it's good for our skin we know a lot of benefits but a lot of times what i have seen is especially recently earlier it never happened but recently uh, slugs and snails they just come and eat your strawberry or there is some pest attack of like nematodes now what can be done easy remedy so that these are away number one what i would advise is we can plant our strawberry plants in an area where it is surrounded with plants like cilantro spring onions basil marigold now why we need to you know surround our plants with these sort of uh, plants the reason is why do pests get attracted towards the strawberry plant if they if your strawberry plants they have fruits and if you go and stand near your strawberry plant you will uh, you can feel that sweet smell now similarly those insects can uh, have that sweet smell as well when they get that sweet smell they just get attracted to your strawberry plant and then they just start eating it now what we need to do is we need to have flowers and plants which have stronger smell than the strawberry fruits so that the smell of strawberry fruits does not reach those pests and they just don't get attracted. So basil and marigold are the best options I would say. What you can also do is if you have basil plant, the seeds of the basil plant, they have a very strong smell. You can just put it in the soil of your strawberry plant. This is again going to keep the pest away. Another reason I would recommend planting flowers like cosmos, uh, calendulas and marigold is because these flowers they attract the good insects because there are some good insects as well for example butterflies, uh, ladybugs. When these good insects are attracted to your garden what happens is the bad insects like mealybugs, aphids they stay away from your garden because they are also scared of these good insects. So planting these flowers will definitely introduce a lot of good insects in your garden. Now quick remedies that we can go for is number one, you can have a layer of diatomaceous earth around the strawberry plant. It will not kill the insects but it will keep them away. Uh, second is you can introduce a tray of beer because slugs and snails they will just get attracted towards, towards this uh, tray of beer because of the smell and then they will just get inside and die. And the third thing is nematodes. Nematodes are very very common and the best way to get uh, rid of nematodes is to have a lot of marigolds in your garden. Uh, these are the you know cheapest remedies I would say and quick ones as well and apart from these remedies I would also recommend that regular checking of your plant I would say once in a day if you have time or maybe every alternate day just go and have a quick look at your plants and it will just give you that assurance that okay everything is fine and if there is any sign of any pest attack you can you know immediately take that uh, step at the initial level itself. One thing I forgot to mention and that is about sun but it is very obvious that they are fruit bearing plants so they love a lot of sun I would recommend keeping your strawberry plants in full sun definitely if it is winter they have to be in sun the whole day and if it is extremely hot let's say more than 40 degrees Celsius half day sun is also okay but to be honest my plant has always been in full sun and it has never been sad because of sun but yes one thing that makes strawberry plants sad is overwatering. So whenever you water your strawberry plant, you have to make sure that it actually needs water and the soil is absolutely dry. Because if the soil is not dry and you're still watering it, it will definitely kill the roots of strawberry plants and your plant won't bear fruits and it will obviously die. I would recommend getting one of these, you know, meters which will help you. It's just a moisture meter. So if I just put it in my pot, and as you can see the reading it's towards 
it's it's a moist soil right now now because the soil is moist and it is not dry i am definitely not watering it so this meter will definitely help you to keep uh, you know away from overwatering or underwatering when it goes to dry then i will water my strawberry plant otherwise i will not i hope you like this video strawberries are lovely plants do bring them in your garden just pot it in your pots uh, you love it and uh, if there is anything associated with strawberry plant that you know you're not sure of or i didn't cover feel free to comment in the comment section below do hit the like button if you like this video and also subscribe to our channel if you are new to this channel i hope you like this video and see you next time bye bye